everybody, Cindy here with Pathways Homestead, and I am making Christmas candy. Um, I'm making Buckeyes. My granny made these when I was a little bitty girl, and my mama did too, and um, that was one of the fun things about Christmas, and one of the things that um, I remember really well as a child was making Buckeyes with my granny. And... The recipe I have is from my grandmother on my mama's side, my grandma Bishop. Um, she had this recipe written down and she said that it was a condensed version of my granny's recipe. She said that granny's recipe was so large that she, um, it was more candy than she could make at once. And, and so she cut the recipe down and so this is that recipe cut down. And it's that she gave me. And then I'm going to double the recipe. So this is a double batch. I'm going to put a single batch in the comments below. I'm just trying to get some of my Christmas candy made up for gifts. They, this candy freezes well in case um, that's an option for you and something that you might want to do. Uh, I probably will um, freeze it. Part of it, part of it I'm going to take to the farmer's market and part of it I'm going to freeze for family gifts. So let's get going. I have unsalted butter here at room temperature and to that I will add three cups of, of peanut butter and two teaspoons of vanilla and this whole bag of powdered sugar. It's pretty, pretty easy. I'm cheating. Granny's the recipe that Grandma gave me that was Granny's, pared down of Granny's, was chocolate chips, Crisco, and wax. Well, wax is hard to find for me right now. So, I and I am kind of uh, being stingy with my uh, beeswax. So, I am going to use, I'm sorry, I'm going to dip one in vanilla flavored chocolate. And I'm going to dip one in just regular plain chocolate. Sometimes Gary really, really likes me to do them in dark chocolate. He loves dark chocolate. But um, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to cheat this year and make things a little easier. So let's get started. We need to get our peanut butter in. This is a two-thirds cup measure. Three cups of peanut butter in with a, with um, two sticks of butter and we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're going to add a whole bag, so this is two pounds of sugar of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, whichever one you call it. I'm just going to mix this enough with my rubber scraper until I get the majority of the peanut butter off of it. And then I'm going to switch to my hands. We're just going to get this mixed up. You can use your um, KitchenAid mixer, not on this big of a batch, but if you have dough hooks on a hand mixer, that will work. Um, if you have a bigger bowl than this, I am kind of scared to even <laughs> make a mess with the powdered sugar. I'm going to make a big enough mess on my counter here. I'm going to switch to my hands now. And as you do this, 
you'll get the feel for what you want. You can make this a little more creamier by adding just a little bit more peanut butter. This one's going to be pretty firm dough. So we have our filling all mixed up. It's a nice consistency. It's still kind of palatable and can mush it through your hands. When we have two cake, pan, two cake pans here with um, par, um, wax paper on them, and you can use um, you can use cookie sheets, you know, flat items. Um, Granny always put them like out on her little work table that she had in her kitchen. She didn't chill them. I do. I feel like it just makes the uh, chocolate stick better, but Granny didn't chill hers. I'm probably not going to chill them today because I really need to get going on them. But you just roll up a little ball about the size of a small walnut. And it, it's not consistent. If you want them bigger, you can make them bigger. It's whatever you want. And... I just start rolling them out. So I've got all of the Buckeye balls rolled out. And now we are going to dip them in chocolate. We've melted our chocolate. You just use a toothpick. And you don't completely dip them. Just leave a little bit of spot there on the top. That's why they're called Buckeyes. Let them cool. And there you have it. Granny's Buckeyes. Grew up eating these. And um, my sisters and I love making them. So thanks for watching you guys and sharing Christmas recipes. Have a blessed day, y'all.